Hey, welcome back guys. So today we're gonna have a look at this nice little game called uh, Palm Island. Quite nice game. So uh, the name is also quite clever because the uh, game is actually uh, played in the palm of your hand and uh, so the theme kind of fits with that pun of Palm Island and uh, the game is quite nice it's uh, 17 cars to hold in your hand but so much fun and so much strategy actually uh, which is quite surprising um, so um, the game is uh, basically a one player game but uh, uh, there are two sets of the basic cards that come in the game so it is possible to play two player and uh, there are quite a few uh, two-player here we go so we have cooperative um, cooperative with abilities casual competitive competitive speed and some villager cards you can play more players if you buy additional copies of the game so quite a lot into one little game extra cards you have the the villager cards which are used as some of the abilities and uh, for a solo player really nice is the uh, the feats so all these feats so basically kind of creates the campaign mode and uh, so you would uh, play the game and depending on what um, yeah you have a little bit of glare but uh, Let's see here so it says score at least 30 points and if you score 30 points in that game you get this statue of trust which you can then use so uh, it has the lock locked and unlocked symbol and then uh, if you use it you can put it in your deck and that way use it to get some of the other feats which are a bit harder to get and that way <clears throat> that way try to uh, accomplish all the feats and it also has like the uh, different uh, where these feats yeah different uh, so for easy you can just use all the feats you acquired and then use them to get the more difficult feats for medium level you can just use one feat out of all of them that you acquired and there's a hard mode so you just use no feats so you have to unlock all of them but not use any that you acquire Okay, so uh, <coughs> that's what's come in the box, and uh, let's go through the rules uh, just a little bit. So on each card, you have like cards that have a symbol on the top here, like this log, or this rock, or this fish. So these are the resources in the deck, so once you get to a card, that has that you can store it and you can see here the symbol for storing which is this green arrow going 90 degrees and it says free so it's a free action to store this log and you do so by putting it in the back and rotate rotating it 90 degrees and now you have this wood available to you to use the other cars that don't have it then you can't store them and obviously you won't have the green symbol either so the other symbols that you'll see is the yellow arrow going 180 degrees that means you can flip the card like so so 180 and put it in the back if it has the blue arrow going around that's the uh, symbol for flipping the card this way and putting it in the back so if it's if it has a symbol followed by a number of resources that means you can do this action but only if you pay the, those resources so that's that's how kind of uh, plays so basically during the game you will hold the deck there is a tracker card in the back and then you will uh, pull the top card off and now you have these two cards and if you can uh, use do an action on any of these you can do so but if not then you have to put the top card in the back and you go through the deck that way so the goal is to get as many victory points as you can so by flipping the card around you can get to a place where for example this logger if you flip it once <coughs> it will have one victory point 
if you then flip it this way then it will give you two and at the end you can flip it this way and it will give you five points so <clears throat> it's uh, if you play really good you can get over 30 points getting to 40 <laughs> yeah that's a that's a bit of a challenge 40 is like the really really best games so let's uh, that yeah that's the basic rules but once you get to the uh, back you will uh, flip the card it will tell you right here flip it this way so now it's round two and then you just move it to the back play the second round once you get to that flip it this way round three and just do all the same so then you'll go four and then you'll go back to one but this time it's five then six then seven and then eight and and at that time you will go through the deck like so and count all the uh, victory points that you might have in this corner okay so pretty simple rules but quite deep game so uh, let's put this tracker back on one I'll give it a quick shuffle just so we don't know where everything is and let's uh, do a quick playthrough just to showcase the uh, how the game plays and then we'll do a little bit serious one so before you begin you're allowed to look through the deck so you can make a plan and uh, we'll just go real quick so pretty bad here so <laughs> I can see right away so let's uh, begin so we have query uh, which doesn't have any free actions and we have toolmaker that doesn't give any free actions and we have no resources so we'll just move the query in the back and then we'll pull the next card now you are allowed to pick at the following card if you want to so you can only see the three cards on the top of your deck at any time the rest is not allowed <clears throat> so you can uh, look through the deck at the beginning but after that it's a no-no so uh, we can't use this one because we have no resources uh, but this one has a free action that we can store this wood so let's do that then we have two cards uh, we don't have resources for any of these and we don't have resources except for this to flip this around so let's do that just to see see how that works so we'll use that wood and then uh, this says flip it so we're gonna flip it this way and then we'll put it in the back now we have two of these no free actions so we put the top card back and let's keep going okay another free logger so we can store that still not enough for that we can put this one store this one that's the green arrow for storing if we pay one wood or one fish so <clears throat> I don't know if you want to do that but yeah let's not do that or let's do that just to show the how the uh, all the actions work so we'll uh, pay the wood and store this so now we have this one we can't use there's <coughs> fish we can store it for free so let's do that okay now we have two which we can't use because we have don't have enough resources so we discard the top one we have free action here or we can pay one fish to rotate or flip it so let's do that we're gonna pay the fish and I think this time we're gonna flip it now instead of a fish we get fish and a wood <clears throat> okay now we can't use any of these so we'll discard the top okay now we can store the fish for free let's do that now we can't use any of these so we discard can use any of these so we discard the top one can do any of these so we discard the top one okay here we have a wood we can store for free that's the end of the round so this is the last card so once you get to the end of the round you have to either use or discard all these cards you have in the hand so here we can pay the wood and the fish to upgrade this house so we're gonna flip it like that and that gives us a weak victory point so let's do that we pay these two and we flip that put it in the back and that's the first round we put flip this and put it in the back and let's keep going okay so now we know how it goes so we're gonna store the wood we can't use this this card uh, 
can't use that can we no we can't so discard okay we can store this so now we came to the card we stored so that is not good because it's gonna go back so we have to discard this because we can't use it and now since this is the top card we have to put it back the way it was and discard it in the back that's all we can do with it now <clears throat> now we have a fish so let's store the fish we can upgrade the query if we pay two wood so we'll pay two wood and we flip this as so and now it's gonna give us a free stone which is good because we only begin with one stone I believe and uh, and stone is very important so we can uh, store this for free so let's do that we can't use that let's see the next card okay so we can uh, store this for free or we can upgrade so let's pay one of the fish to flip it okay so we can't use either of these so we'll discard the top one can't use either of these can't use oh we can use a uh, we can upgrade this one so let's pay wood and fish to uh, rotate now we have one victory point we can store the log so now we can't do any of these and we have to discard this one because we can't do anything with it and here we go round three store now we have two wood so we can upgrade this query also so let's do that now we have a stone from that the trade house uh, we don't have resources to pay for it but we can uh, store the wood we'll discard this one um, yeah, do, yeah I don't know so we'll discard that one <clears throat> uh, we can store the fish we have to discard the market now we don't have resources uh, we can store the query or we can upgrade it if we store this card first so we store that card and then if we pay two wood and one fish we can flip it so we have two wood and one fish so let's do that so this card and this card so that's two wood and one fish and we're left with one fish so we can uh, flip this one so now it gives us two stone and it two victory points which is quite nice okay so we have uh, this one we can store don't have any stone to upgrade the temple so we'll discard it query so we can't upgrade the house without stone so but we can pay two fish to flip this query which is good because right now it doesn't produce anything so let's pay these two fish and we can flip it okay now it gives us a stone uh, house um, can do it but uh, you'll notice that right here is a temple so the houses and temples are what gives you the most points so that's like six points here if you upgrade it all the way and I'll show you the temple is uh, 10 points here if you upgrade it all the way so this is where all the big points come in so these are there's a uh, two of houses and two temples so these are where your uh, points will come from the rest are just kind of little bonuses except the loggers they also have five so <clears throat> these are the ones to focus on and that uh, they do require a lot of resources so you don't want to if you put them together then you'll gather a bunch of cards and you can only hold four resource cards on the side so if they're together you have four resource cards you pay for one you will never have enough to pay for the next one so you never want to have them uh, together so let's let's just discard it instead of uh moving it back because it's quite easy to move the card back all the way but bringing it forward is near impossible okay so we have a uh, uh, wood here we can store see these cards are together so that's no good and they're right at the end so we have three of these cards right at the end so that's quite bad because all the resources we're going to collect during the game are, are just going to be piled up and then we'll have to discard some resources to store the other ones 
and uh, then we'll, when we come to the end we don't have enough resources to pay for any of these cards so that's quite a bad position but uh, right now we're just showcasing the rules so we're not going to worry about <clears throat> so this is around four okay another wood we can store we can uh, store this stone here's another wood um, so let's we can get all these fish if we pay two wood or two stone um, I don't know if I want to do that let's store this wood first and then we'll see what the next card would be toolmaker yeah toolmaker is quite important to upgrade because right now it's doing nothing but once you upgrade it so let's uh, pay this uh, two wood here to get all these delicious fish and uh, yeah I'm just gonna go and pay all this so we'll flip this <clears throat> And now this tool maker gives us a wood and a fish for free, which is much better than nothing right here. So that's quite, if we upgrade it again, it gives us wood, fish, and a stone for free, which is quite good. And then it, in the last round, if you upgrade it again, you get four points. So this is quite, quite a nice card. So right now it's right here, so we'll put that in the back. All right, so we have a free fish we can store. Um, another one of these. So this is a wood and a fish. That's quite nice. So we'll just discard this right now. And then we have the query that gives us two stone. Let's see, we have so many resources now because all of our stuff is on the, in the back. So we can upgrade the temple, one wood, one fish, two stone. So we can do these two cards here. So let's do that. Pay. So once you flip the cards, they go back to where they were. You don't move them. So you just rotate 90, they go back to their position. Now we upgrade the temple, flip it. Now it gives us three victory points. Okay, so these are the two cards we have now. So we can uh, store this one for free, lovely, and here's a housing, so we can, uh, we can pay for that. So if we keep this card, card here on top and upgrade this one, that means this card will move forward, which is what we want because they're all together in the back. So let's pay one wood, one fish, and one stone <coughs> to flip this one. And then it goes in the back. Now we have query. Wood. So this one needs another stone. We don't have quite enough. But this house has exactly what we need. What we have. It needs what we have. <laughs> so we'll flip that. <clears throat> Three victory points. Now this is the last card. And now we came to the end of round four. We'll flip back. Now it's the round Five. So halfway there, so we'll go <clears throat> through it real quick. So logger store, query store, another logger, we'll store that. Uh, do we need all this fish? I don't think we do, but store this. So we can upgrade this if we pay the fish, so let's do that. We'll flip this. Okay, we we'll can store this one. Uh, we can upgrade the market and that's uh, <clears throat> that could be useful in the following round so we'll pay two wood to flip it to rotate it there we go then we have query here comes the temple so we need two two and three stone we have three stone so we would need a wood and a fish let's see what we have coming here it is wood and a fish so we'll pay all this stuff to upgrade the temple by flipping that six points <clears throat> house here's query so we don't want to move the house back so we'll just discard it so query logger and that's the end here okay we go to round six uh, we'll store store this 
Okay, so now we have too many resources here, so let's uh, let's pay to get these fish. Let's pay two stone. So I'm sick of stone. Here we go. So now we have all these lovely fish. Uh, we can upgrade this. We can also upgrade this. Um, let's let's store this one first because we don't have stone to upgrade. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, now it's a bit of a pickle. So let's just get rid of this card. We'll pay for this one. That way we don't just waste it. So we'll uh, rotate this one. Doesn't do anything except give us one point, which is whatever. So we'll, we have this one we can store. We have this one. Um, now we have so much wood and fish, but no stone. So... So let's pay some wood and fish to upgrade this one, just so we don't waste it. Wood, fish. So all our stone looks like it's on the back and in the back of the deck, and uh, all the wood and fish is in the front. So um, we can pay one wood to rotate this one. Let's see the next card. Yeah, we can do that. So we'll pay one wood. To get one fish and one stone and then we have two stone and then we have wood and fish so we can only hold, hold four cards so that's all we can do so this one will need four stone we need one more stone and uh, one more wood so that's not gonna happen um, this one needs two of each we do have that so we can do wood fish wood fish and two stone to upgrade this one and now it's the top level so six points here <clears throat> um, this one is not upgrading anymore I don't think we don't have that, that good of a resource right now so let's just keep it in the hand and push it all the way back so there's the stone there's the wood and this one will need one more uh, wood and one more fish but we don't have that oh but we have enough to upgrade this temple that's surprising okay so there we go we'll pay all that to upgrade this temple round seven store store discard store okay so now round seven, we only have this round and next round to get all the points. So let's upgrade only the point cards. So we'll uh, do this wood and stone to flip this one over. Now it's two points. Next turn, if we pay two wood and two stone, we can get an extra three points. So quite good. So store these, store these, market. Do we pay one wood? We do not. Uh, query. Okay. So let's see now. This housing is all the way to the top, so let's let's not waste any resources. We'll upgrade this. So we'll uh, wood and fish to flip this one. Now it's an extra fish. This house is upgraded. Here's query, so we can upgrade this, and this will give us two points when we upgrade. So let's pay this wood and two fish to upgrade this. There we go. We can upgrade the logger for an extra point. A temple, nothing. Housing, nothing. Another temple, nothing. Okay, so they're all in the back and we can't do anything with them. So let's proceed. So ju let's just do the point cards now. It's the last round, so no point in upgrading anything. So let's get rid of these two stone to get these three fish. Cause we don't want to draw them, so let's uh, store the query. Toolmaker. Okay, so we said the logger needs uh, two wood and two stone. We don't have any stone. So that's not good. So let's discard this wood to store the canoe house. Another canoe house. So quite bad. Um, Let's discard, let's say this one. Too much fish and we'll store this one. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see now. We can pay one wood to get 
fish and stone. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, I think we're in a quite pickle anyways, because uh, of the cards in the back. Okay, so we can pay all these cards to upgrade the logger. Let's see what the next one is. Let's do that. Pay all the cards to upgrade the logger to five points. We can store this, we can store this. This is upgraded. We can store that. We can upgrade this one to get another point. Let's see what else we have. We would need two wood and a fish. This is the end of the deck, so I think this is the last card we can upgrade, so we'll just do that. And uh, upgrade this one to two points. And that should be the end. Uh, yes, it is. So we'll put this back, count up the points. Shouldn't be that many. Here's 5, 6, 7, 13, 15, 17, 23, 26, 29. Actually, not that bad. Um, not that bad at all. So let's see where that uh, table is. So for 29, respectable. It, and it's the higher end of respectable. So great. All right, so there. That's how the uh, game is played. I don't know. I don't know if we have a time for another serious game. Yeah, I think we can do another, another uh, playthrough. I have another deck prepared. So let's see where that uh, card is. Here it is. So I'll put that in the back. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more seriously now. So let's see. So we'll take a look through it, and we have the housing up front, so we want to move that a little bit back. And let's see what else, temple right here, that's a nice spot, another here, nice. And we'll move this house all the way in the back. So we'll move the houses to the back, leave everything else, and you can uh, make a little bit of a plan. Like this quarry needs two fish or two uh, wood, we only have one wood here. Uh, we have two fish here, uh, we can use that for this query. Toolmaker, uh, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay, so let's just begin. So we, we want to move this back, but we can't because of this query. So we'll just put it in the back. Query, let's store this. Now we have to put it back. Another query, we'll put it back. Market. Let's uh, put this fish here. Here's another fish. I think we want to use that for the quarry. So we want to keep the temple where it is. We'll use these two fish. Um, flip the quarry to make stone. Store the wood. We'll uh, discard this for now. We want to keep the temple where it is. Toolmaker will need another fish. We can't use any of these, so we discard. We want to push the housing back. Um, here's another logger, and the housing is on the back, which is where we want it, so that's good. And we go round two. So this housing, we can upgrade it. Um, maybe we should, because this is the next card that we're drawing, so we don't want to waste that. So we'll pay the wood and the fish, and upgrade this housing to one point. Now we can do the query for two wood, flip it. Here's another query we can't use, but let's put the uh, fish in front. Um, don't want to do that, put this back, put this back. Here's another fish. We can use one fish to upgrade the other fish. Now it has wood and fish. Temple is where it is. Query, logger, trade house in the back, temple stays. Um, we need a fish for this, we don't have that, so we'll put it back, housing is in the back, round three. So once you get used to all this, the game moves quite quickly as you can see. Um, let's store the fish first, so we can upgrade this house. <coughs> yeah, I, I think it's kind of early, but yeah, let's do it. Let's just bloody do it. Here we go. Okay, so logger, query, uh, we can put this fish here, 
So do we upgrade this query or this query? No, this query. We'll upgrade this one. So we'll pay two wood to uh, flip this one. Now it produces wood. <clears throat> Market. Here's a canoe house. Temple stays here. Uh, we can upgrade this one too. We have exactly what it needs. So I kind of like upgrading all these uh, resources at the beginning of the game and then at the end of the game getting the points. That kind of makes sense. Okay, temple. Logger. Still can't upgrade the tool maker. We need to uh, keep a fish. We need to keep a fish all the way to the end so we can get that tool maker upgraded. Here's a fish. We want to move this back, so we'll uh, put this logger here. We'll use this fish to upgrade this fish. And uh, let's put this back now. Now we have the query. Uh, another query, that's not good. Let's see the next one. We can uh, pay these two wood so we don't waste them. To flip this. <coughs> okay, see this query will need uh, two wood and one fish, so that's no good. This one, temple, we can upgrade it. Now it's three points. Here's another query, logger. Um, what do we do with the trade house? Do we flip it? So uh, the trade house is kind of weird. So it like, gives you wood and fish, but all the other sides gives you three wood, three stone, three fish. But to, the stone is like the most important for the temples, but you have to upgrade a lot of cars to get it. So uh, let's not mess with that now. So this temple is uh, unattainable right now. Logger will store it. Ah, oh, I forgot to keep the fish. Damn it. Okay, so round five. Halfway there. Here's the fish. Uh, let's uh, put this one back and store the fish. <clears throat> uh, wooden fish. Okay, so we can pay to upgrade that. Yeah, let's do it. Wood fish. Upgrade this. <clears throat> okay, so housing, don't have it. Let's see this one. Let's store it. We can upgrade the market um, with the wood and stone. So let's do that. Now we can get one of everything if we pay either one of the resources. So that's quite nice. Query will store it. Store this. We don't have enough for that. This is the top, so we now we have to discard it. Logger. Let's upgrade the logger, I suppose. We'll flip it this way. Temple, don't have enough. Here's another logger. Oh man, I, I really keep forgetting to. <laughs> Never mind, we're just not gonna use the tool maker. Don't need it. <clears throat> okay, round six. This one here. Store that. Um, let's discard a stone. Okay, housing two of each. We don't have any stone. So let's say for next turn we'll upgrade this. So it produces two stone. Then we can upgrade this with those two stone and it will also give us two victory points so let's pay two wood one fish upgrade that to make two stone and two victory points that's great um, we're not going to be able to get that so market so let's put this here so we can pay one resource to get these three so let's do that uh, we can store that Temple, two of each. Uh, we don't have no, two of each or three stone. Yeah, here's the stone. So we can upgrade that uh, with, let's say, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So we'll 
pay these three cards, upgrade the temple to six points. Here's the logger, or do we want to upgrade? We can't upgrade it, so we'll uh, discard that too. Okay, now we have the fish. Okay, do not get rid of the fish. Keep the fish. Here we go. Finally, God, almost end of the game. There we go. So we'll be able to upgrade this housing next turn. And here we go. Penultimate round, so let's uh, upgrade everything we can. We'll uh, store this fish, pay uh, fish and wood. Get this logger upgraded to one point. Store that, store that. Housing, two of each, we have it. That's max points. Squarey, uh, store it, pay it for the market, one of each. Store this, store that. Uh, four stone and three of each. We would need uh, another card with one of each. Let's see if we have that. What's the next one? No, we don't have that. Let's discard. <coughs> so, uh, wooden stone to upgrade the logger. Let's do it. Uh, we flip actually. There we go. Trade house. I'm not interested. One of each, two stone. We have that. Flip. Logger, toolmaker, pay the toolmaker to upgrade the house. And last round. So now it's now it's the uh, everything for points. Don't worry about upgrading any cards. So I don't want to give away this uh, logger yet because I can upgrade that one. Okay, so let's upgrade it. So we'll pay stone and wood <coughs> to upgrade it to another point. So not much, but it's going to add to our score. This query, um, we need two wood to upgrade it. Okay, let's uh, pay the fish to get this. S um, let's store this too. Let's store this too. Okay, so this one will need four stone. Four stone, three fish. We have three wood. We can't discard any. We can't. So we're not going to be able to get that. So let's pay the uh, two wood and one fish. Um, how are we doing that? Two, two, two. Uh, this will give us two points. So I want to do that, but I would have to get rid of two cards. So definitely this one. And let's say this one. So these two we'll get rid of. Oh, maybe a mistake. Is this one coming up? Uh, not yet. Okay, so we pay those. So we can upgrade that to two points. Temple. We'll keep it in the hand just in case we get lucky and draw what we need. Um, actually, this is more likely than this. So let's get rid of that. And we'll keep the logger in the hand. If we pay uh, two fish, we get that. Um, what's next? Temple. So no good. So we'll store that. Um, this temple needs three stone. What's the next card? Wood. So we do have two wood and two fish. So maybe we can get the stone. Maybe. Let's see what the next one is. No stone there, so we'll discard it. We can upgrade this logger to one point. Um, let's store the tool maker first. Okay, so we can upgrade the house for one of each. That will be these two cards. And then we can use this to upgrade the logger, and I think that's the end. Yes, it is. So we'll upgrade the logger with wood and fish. Flip it to one point, and then we'll use one of each to upgrade this house. And that's the end of the game, so let's count up our points. 2, 4, 10. 12, 14, 20. 22, 25, 26, 
29, same thing. So, <laughs> so not much better. But yeah, there we go. Uh, you can do uh, 30 points. Uh, I think I kind of rushed through there just so you guys can see two playthroughs in one video. But uh, yeah, 30 points is um, quite easy. You just need to upgrade all the uh, buildings to 6 and all the queries to 2. And I will give you 30 points. And then if you collect any, any extra points... Um, you'll get over 30 so you can you can do it easily um, but getting the like high 30s that's that's uh, crazy hard so yeah quite nice game uh, quite recommended quite recommended um, as soon as uh, as soon as I get the strategy down and uh, get really good at the game we're gonna do a playthrough of the campaign uh, but that's gonna be sometime in the future so uh, not anytime soon I don't think so uh, stay tuned for that uh, I I'm very excited about it I can't wait I love these campaign thingies in the games so this little addition uh, just makes this game so much more appealing to me <clears throat> and um, and yeah this is this is the uh, regular edition they also have the uh, deluxe edition with the uh, magnetic thing on the side and the uh, the uh, plastic cards so if you drop it in water uh, you can you know not damage them because this is the game you you can carry anywhere and waiting in the bank in the line and I don't think anybody does that anymore these days but if you do you can do that in the bus on a train wherever you go so quite a nice game and uh, it is to uh, two basic sets in 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 the um that come in the game for two players but but you know solo players you, you put one at home you carry one in your pocket when you go outside so that's that's what it's for all right so uh, <clears throat> i hope you guys uh, enjoyed that game i quite do i uh give it a give it a try it's quite nice it's an also also print and play version so you might have seen another videos played through uh, that are print and play so you can uh, print it and try it yourself to see before you invest any money into this. All right, and thank you very much for watching, and you have a good rest of your day.